it bothers me that I played the game right and then I'm not rewarded a little bit. You know, no. I know. And that, of course, was Michelle Collins, former co-host of ABC's The View. And she was a guest on the Lost Cult podcast, which is hosted by Bowen Yang and Matt Rogers. These three were so hilarious together. I felt like, even though I don't know either of them, I don't follow their careers even, I did feel like I was listening in on a group of friends having a, a, an intimate conversation that was just recorded. It was just that authentic and real. I loved it. Well, today on the podcast, I am going to continue sharing my personal reaction to that interview. Remember, I said on the initial uh, podcast that, listen, this entire week, April 15th, I am dedicating <laughs> to dropping bomb after bomb. Just my reaction to this because so much was said. Ooh, Matt, 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 Matt. <laughs> I got I got a bone to pick with Matt. But there was so much that was said that I that I thought was really interesting. And since I have a podcast about the view and you're here with me and I'm here with you, I thought I'd share my thoughts, of course, with you. So let's go there. This right here for me was everything because we actually talked about this several a few years ago. So it wasn't a long time ago, just a few years back. Okay, let's go back in time. Do y'all remember? when the show celebrated their 25th year on the air. Remember, that's when actually the, the Behind the Tables podcast was actually it started. It was started to celebrate. So they had uh, former co-hosts come. Remember, uh, Raven came uh, to, to be on the podcast. Uh, you know, um, Abby Huntsman, et cetera, et cetera. Sherry, right? Um, but they also went to the Bahamas, right? And throughout season 25, former co-hosts came back. Remember, Debbie Matinopoulos came to co-host. Remember, just so many. But we never saw Michelle. So I made a podcast talking with you guys. And I'm like, where's Michelle Collins? <laughs> what is going on? Now, some of the women did come out in the media and say that they were invited to participate in the 25th season, but they were busy. It just, their schedules, they just couldn't coordinate their schedules, okay? So we know why some of them weren't there, but we didn't know. I kept saying, y'all, what is going on with Michelle? So remember they had put together this whole promo for season 25, where it was like a montage of all the former hosts. They had to uh, like get on their cell phone and like film a video. Well, we did see Michelle there, but it was so tiny, so little. It was like, what are they doing to her? Well, to my wonderful surprise, she actually addresses this uh, with Matt and Bowen. And she actually shares that it was pretty shitty. Those are her words. It was a shitty. She, she explains what happened, how they reached out to her and how she felt about the way they put her so tiny on the screen. So take a listen and I'll be right back. Oh, they exactly. asked me, I'll tell this much, They for the 25th anniversary season, they did reach out to me. It was the first time I had heard from them. You're getting mm. a little gossip. See, it's fun. I got to sell yeah, tickets, yeah. people. I'm telling you, Michelle Collins live. The Big Natural, natural tour. tour. Big Natural Tour, singular, because it's... <laughs> big Natural. Okay. So, <laughs> one uh, big one. 25th anniversary, they reached out to me. I was very open to it. You know, the negative feelings or what have you, which one day I'll write about in a book after they have me on, uh, I have buried. So I thought, okay, they said, hey, can you do an intro? We're going to do all the hosts in the 25th anniversary intro. So this is, by the way, one of the worst stories ever because they sound horrible, but I was in Paris. The lights go out. It's lost again. Love it. And, <laughs> my, and my friend, I said, this is so fabulous. We're, the Eiffel Tower, I know. It's like a wonder. They lost it again. Eiffel That's Tower so weird, behind. Michelle. We can't reschedule. <laughs> I'm no, like, it's amazing you don't have to be back on. <laughs> I'm in an ermine coat. I have a crown on. I'm like, I don't know why they won't have me back. No, but anyway, there was an Eiffel Tower behind me. An Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower. And there's one of them. You've been. An Eiffel Tower. <laughs> You've been. You know how it is. Don't tell anyone. But anyway, so I said, oh, this is fabulous. And so we shot for like an hour of me going, Welcome to the beat, you know, whatever the thing was that they wanted uh -huh, me to say. Uh -huh, and I really wanted uh -huh. to look good in it, et cetera. Send it in. And, you know, I don't watch the show. To be fair, I didn't watch it before I was on it. I always say I watched it when I was literally on it. Like, on uh -huh. stage. <laughs> That's yeah. when I watched yeah. it. So, yeah. so anyway, uh, then the show, the premiere comes out. And I swear they put me in... I'm trying to think, what's the tiniest three by three pixel square on an HD TV? You couldn't see. It looked like I was in front of a, an antenna tiny in uh, Schenectady. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, 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 <laughs> tiny skull. Oh, finally. That's the one That's gift. That's the tour name. Tiny skull. 
And I was like, okay, you know, whatever. I wasn't bitter about it because what are they going to do, feature me? I was on the show for like six months, you know, so fine. But then that whole season, I thought, you know what? It's shitty. And I'll just say it. It, is, it isn't nice. It's yeah, like, listen, I exist, you know, and I've played the game, but now I guess I don't have to anymore. So that's exciting. Thanks for no, having me. No, now... You know, I will tell y'all, when I was initially listening to Michelle share that with Bowen and uh, Matt, even though they were joking a lot, I could actually hear in her voice that this really did bother her. Because like she said, I exist. You know, I go back to what I was saying on the first installment of this little series of my reaction to this interview, is that I really do believe that Michelle knows why she's never been invited back. But for some reason, she doesn't want to tell what it is. I, the reason I really am saying that is because I guess of what I just know about life. Of course, I haven't lived as long as a lot of you listening. Shout out to all my 70 year old gals out there and guys. But my point is I've lived long enough to understand a little bit about how life works and that we always know. There are very few things when it comes to us. I'm not talking about that it has to do with somebody else. Um, there are very few things that we've experienced that, especially in hindsight, and she's been gone now since 2016. We're now in 2024. She's had a plenty of time to reflect on this. So let's say that even in the moment when she, um, you, you know, maybe let's say the next year she was never invited back or whatever. My point is, I just don't believe that she has zilch idea of why she's never been invited back. And again, as I said before, it really bothers me that no one, I I don't care who she's talking to when she says that, no one asks her if she knows why. They just assume what she's saying is true. They just, and maybe, maybe too, I'm like this too, because I was an investigative interviewer. So I know you have to ask people questions. You have to have follow-up questions. You need to inquire because people will only tell you so much. They'll tell you what they want you to know. And that may or may not be the truth, right? So, but in terms of this right here, I felt her pain. I was like, wow, this really does bother her. Now, for those of you like me who didn't know until I was kind of doing a little uh, looking around the internet, because I don't watch Hoda and Jenna. Uh, I used to listen to Hoda Kabe's podcast, Making Space, but then, you know, hey, I was like, okay, I'm losing interest. But my point is, I was not aware that um, Michelle has hosted over there from time to time since 2021, excuse me, 2022. And then she hosted again in 23. And then I think she's done it sometime this season uh, when one of the ladies are out. And matter of fact, I was looking at some of the uh, comments on Instagram, excuse me, on social media, where a lot of the fans of that show were actually asking the producers to bring her on full time. Like if, say, if Hoda leaves, bring, replace Hoda with Michelle. Or if Jenna leaves, replace Jenna with Michelle, because it seems that their fan base really like her. So what I did after I saw some of those comments, I was like, well, let me just go uh, Google or, or YouTube, rather, uh, one of those episodes where she was guest co-hosting. And I got to say, she did a fantastic job. Michelle really is funny. And I, and I feel like Michelle has grown a lot since her experience on The View. And I will just tell y'all, I just feel bad for her. Because they do treat her as if she's invisible. Now, we know that the um, a lot of the executives who were there when she was there are no longer there. But we can't say that that has anything to do with it because <laughs> the executives of these other women, when these other women were on the show, those folks don't work there no more either. But they're still being invited back to advertise this. Like Michelle, we heard her mention there she has a tour, a comedy tour coming up. I mean, Michelle still tours. She still is a comedian. They could invite her back to talk about her comedy tour, but they don't invite her back for that. You know, so it's very, very interesting that even for the celebratory season where we saw some of the women we hadn't seen in an extremely long time, we still didn't see Michelle. I want to ask you guys a question. Why do you guys think this is? What do you attribute them not inviting her to even that season? (laughs) What do you think it really was? Now, On the next installment of this little series, I'm going to talk about something that Matt Rogers said. He made this wild claim about Michelle on that during that interview. And I'm like, okay, either Matt really believes this or Matt is just kissing up to Michelle or trying to make her feel good. Uh, You know, because I, I, I just I just couldn't believe that that he actually believed that. Now, he has a right to his opinion. So I'm not saying that. 
But on the next podcast, I'm going to talk about that wild claim that Matt made during that podcast. And I'm going to react to that. So guys, there you have it. It's shitty. That's how she feels. It was really shitty for them to totally ignore her during the celebratory season. What do you think about it? That's my view on The View. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget to give the podcast episode a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye, guys.